Hello, guys, gals, non-binary pals, and everyone in between. It's Peppermint Skies here, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. Today's video was a request from the person on screen. Thank you so much for requesting something from me. It makes me really happy to see that people enjoy my videos. They requested a Deku X Little Space YN. And so I shall give what they wish to receive. I have two stories here today, one from Wattpad and one from Tumblr. I will put links in the description below per usual. Any information that is needed to explain individual fix will be put before uh, the reading. With that said, please enjoy the video. The first story is a chapter in a little space book on Wattpad. The chapter is called Baby You? I can do that. CG Deku X Reader for Any Little Age. You and Izuku were sitting in class as you kicked your feet under the desk. You were rather nervous as you had to ask him a question. You weren't quite sure how to ask it, though. Are you alright, Bun Bun? His sweet voice makes you blush, and all you can do is nod. You're so cute, he says, smiling softly and petting you. Izuku, I need to ask you something. You whisper shyly, playing with your fingers. What is it? He continues to pet you as you shyly explain. You want me to baby you? You nod, blushing more. Oh, alright, anything for you, Bun Bun. You smile and kick your legs happily, waiting for class to end. When it finally does, you happily walk to your room, holding his hand. Do you have little gear already, Bun? You nod, showing him where you keep it. Aw. He sets the box on the bed next to you, pulling you into his lap. Open up, baby. You open your mouth, and he puts your passy in. Is that your favorite color, Bun? Yeah, you say with a giggle, feeling yourself start to slip. Do you have a nickname you want to call me? Papa, you shout with a smile. Papa? You nod. All right, I can be your papa. You squeal happily. Princess newbie, please. All right, bun. He opens his laptop, pulling up Disney Plus and letting you choose your favorite movie. He cuddles you in his lap while you slip completely into your headspace. This next fic is on Tumblr, and this one is a Deku and Todoroki ex little listener. I hope that's okay. You were a tough student. You had a quirk that was both flashy and strong, but it meant you trained a lot harder. Aizawa often found himself pairing you up with Todoroki or Bakugo because they were your toughest classmates as well. You had this confident but not cocky personality, which led people to like you. But it also led to you never having any time to let your guard down and just be you. Well, that was until Todoroki and Midoriya came into play. Midoriya had stopped by your house one day to drop off something you left at his place, but he found you in an oversized sweater sitting on your bed coloring with your plushie. You were embarrassed as hell. You wouldn't lie. But once Midoriya figured out what was going on, he completely encouraged it. He even offered to help take care of you. So for a while, it was Midoriya taking care of you, helping feed you, giving you all the affection you need, playing with you, helping with big people tasks just making you feel loved in general. You were his baby, and he loved you to pieces, especially the nicknames he got to call you because it was cute seeing you smile. Todoroki came into play when Midoriya had to leave town for a few days. Midoriya reassured you Todoroki was going to be the best temp caregiver ever. Todoroki was fine with doing this because 1. Midori was paying him, and 2. Todoroki wanted to know what you were like when regressed. And let me tell you, Todoroki's heart did flips when he first heard you giggle while in little space. 
and we even called him Dada after the third day of taking care of you. Oh boy, he was dying. Todoroki had a lot less rules than Midoriya. Midoriya always made sure you did everything on time, as for Todoroki, was more laid back and let you do what made you happy. Todoroki has the warmest cuddles when he gathers you up in his arms and just kisses the top of your head. When Midoriya got back, they both had both decided to co-take care of you. Midoriya was daddy, and Todoroki was dada. You had extra people to play with, and it made your little heart burst because they loved you so much. Honestly, Todoroki is still surprised by the difference of little space you and big you. Big you was so independent and acted as if you needed nobody but yourself. And little you would come running into his room whenever you knew him and Midoriya were hanging out and flop on their lap like you needed nothing but them. Midoriya loved feeling important and needed by you. Just the feeling of you wrapping your arms around him and watching cartoons made him happy. All in all, it's an amazing and loving thing. Uh, Before I continue, I would also like to say that I did change a few words and leave out a few words, just because this was done in more of a headcanon way, so I hope that doesn't affect the story too much. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you once again for requesting this. I had a lot of fun reading these and finding them. As I said in the beginning, links will be in the description below, so please go check out the original works. I did stumble on my words a little bit here and there, and I go between saying your name and YN, but that's okay, because we all mess up sometimes. I hope you all have a amazingly lovely, wonderful day. Or night. Bye-bye. <laughs>